everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing a tycoon game where we're going to be building up our forces to become the king of the hill. That's right, you may have heard of this one, Kingdom Tycoon. It looks really fun. There are like 3,000 people playing right now, so it must be a pretty fun game. Before we get into starting everything off, guys, let's do our commenter of the day, because this is a very important one. Today's commenter is Joey Garcia, and he says, You should make your secondary account name Poopy Monster. Hashtag Blue Team. Now, the reason that this comment is so important is because... Just why? Why, Joey? I have to know in the comment section of today, please explain yourself to me, Joey. Why do I need a secondary account? Why does its name specifically have to be Poopy Monster? I don't understand. <laughs> please comment down below and explain to me. And if you guys would like, comment your theories in the comment section down below. We're going to figure out the mystery of Joey's comment. If you guys would like to be a commenter of the day, of course, leave a comment down below with the hashtag blue team. And while you're down there, why not leave a like? Let's aim for 50 likes on today's video. We're going to slowly start building it up. We'll get more and more 50 likes, 50 comments, and then go higher and higher as the blue team gets bigger and stronger in the town center. The center of your settlement that trains militia troops also generates crowns. It costs nothing. So, oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, no. This is Age of Empires. Okay. I've said this about a simulator before. Now we're playing Age of Empires, the tycoon, and we're going to be king of the hill. We're going to own this hill by generating the most troops possible, except that guy over there has a giant city. All right. <laughs> I really hope we can handle this game. Okay. So a wheat farm costs me 20. Yeah, let's just buy it. We've only got 25 left, but we can do this. We're going to buy a wheat farm. Uh, Dragon Pit, that sounds epic. Elephant Trainer, two Elephant Trainers, that also sounds epic. And a Wizard Tower, okay, pretty cool. Let's see what this does. So there's a countdown here, which means I'm assuming that's going to earn me money as well in a minute and 22 seconds. Look at the little light on. The base has got a light on it. That's so detailed and cute. How much do you cost? 500? What? That seems like a lot to me, game. I don't, I don't know what to do with that. What about this? Watchtower for 100, that's not bad. Oh, another farm. All right, let's get another farm going. Perfect. And what does this cost to upgrade? Oh, just a measly 50,000. Okay, that's not us right now. Okay, more things have appeared. We can put down another farm, another house. Are they all 500? They are, okay. And then this, a barracks. 250 or an archery range for 500. Yeah, this is actually Age of Empires, okay? What's this one? Marketplace for a thousand? We don't need that. This is gonna do a thing. I want to see what I get from this. So let's build another one of these. And I'm gonna wait 14 seconds. I want to know exactly what happens when this hits zero. Four, three, two, one. Please be amazing. What happened? Oh, do they boost? They boost my earnings. Oh, right. So they boost how much I earn. That's my army. Where's it going? It's going to the middle. Uh, I'm gonna build one of these. Build my farm. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So I have five farmers because I built farms. Oh, oh, okay. I thought something completely different. Okay, so I am training farmers right now. Is that what's happening? <laughs> for 800 for a lumber camp, that's a little bit too much. Do I own this now? I do, but this guy's coming to take my base. No, oh, my farmers, uh-oh. My farmers are gonna die. Wait, can I help them? Stay safe, farmers, what's, oh no, no, they're fighting. Don't kill my farmers, no. <laughs> guy, fight guys, you can do it. Kill them with your pitchforks. Please. I think, wait, 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 one of them died. Not me, right? Come on. Come on, farmers. You could do this, guys. Swing those little pitchforks like you mean it. You could do it. Get out of here. I'll beat you up. My farmers are going to win, except those archers are obviously murdering us. What about this? This is a little bit intimidating, okay? I would like to control. Oh, he just took control of that. I was going to say, I'd like to control this. Okay, my farmers are dead. Let's not worry about them for now. All of my farms have also disappeared. So let's build a barracks. I think what happens is the buildings that I have active, yeah, they produce troops. Oh, okay. So I wonder... All right, my barracks is nearly built. I got interrupted by my cat. So <laughs> what does this cost? Oh, it costs Robux. Okay, so we don't need that. I think we probably need to upgrade this. No, that's too much. That's too expensive. Is this going to disappear? No, it is not. 
Okay. And I can upgrade it for 750. Okay, so the farms are a temporary thing that oh, I guess they boost. Generates crowns from producing crops. Okay, so I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> Let's buy a bigger farm and see what happens. All right, bigger farm. What's going on here? Is this gonna... Okay. Oh, no, no. This one has a timer on it. Okay. This one definitely doesn't, though, which is a good thing for us. All right. Well, that's a start, though. Okay, so we, we're gonna save up. I want to save up 500. We're gonna get one of these bad boys so we can increase our total troop count. Also, my farmers are consistently taking control of this place for me, which is amazing. But then this guy's come over and takes it back, and then these guys turn around and come back here. Is there a way to control my troops or something? Okay, here's my promise to you guys, all right? Dragon Pit, we're probably gonna buy that today. I wanna progress a little bit more on my own. Is that one of my warriors? That might be, no. Yeah, that's one of my guys. He's got green shield. <gasps> what an, I'm built a warrior, I think. Because I got this new house, which is pretty amazing. I've got a lot of stuff right now. Okay, let's let's get another barracks. Let's get an archer's range for 500. Like, we got money to spend right now. Let's do that. Let's also grab this. Generates from business and commerce. So that's going to increase the amount of crowns we get. Amazing. I feel like if we progress enough, I won't feel like I'm pay to win when I purchase the dragon pit. <laughs> Magic Bus YT's army. It's just one guy. <laughs> it's just one guy with a club. <laughs> That feels about right. Everybody else around me is very impressive. Look at the size of this place, this place, and then of course, this place is ridiculous, but they don't have a dragon pit. I'm gonna have a dragon pit by the end of today's video. So when you're low on money, you really need to keep these farms up or your payments are just gonna be like nothing. Like, look at this. I only got 50 then, but with these up, I gotta, I'm gonna get more, basically. I need to have these farms going kinda at all times to complement these buildings. Like, I'm not getting anything because this isn't finished yet. Oh yeah, I got hundreds more because of this. Okay, that's a real feels good, man. Okay, it's really good to have that. I'm gonna buy the lumber yard next, the lumber camp for 800. That's gonna generate a lot more money for me as well. Hopefully, I don't think it'll disappear. These farms disappear after a while, but I'm pretty sure this will stay. What is this button? What's that? Is that a castle? Oh, 25,000? That's so many! <laughs> Six and a half hours late. Things are, uh, going pretty well here in my kingdom. Look at how things are. This is amazing. I've got two temples. Wait. Oh, I can upgrade this. I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna upgrade the economy here. Things are going very well. I should probably... Oh, that's 50,000. No, thank you. <laughs> I've been trying to unlock everything that generates money right now. So I've got these windmills that improve like your farms and how they work. So I should be upgrading these. I can't upgrade that. I can't upgrade that. These are little stone towers. They do mining, apparently. Here's a... Wait, is that a... No, that's a woodcutting place. That's a house. Just a house. Here we can put down another farm. Boop, 250. It's kind of like a game of just running around making sure your farms are running so you can get more money, which I'm pretty good at doing. <laughs> I just need to make sure this is the one that I haven't upgraded. This one here. Boom. So we've got the three economy buildings. Can these upgrade? They cannot. So that's probably upgrading to a chapel. So I guess I want to start building walls. I have just put in so many walls and a gate. Look at this. My army is starting to build. Wait, am I the king of the hill right now? I am not because I'm green. Fight, boy. Oh my god, they have people on horses and stuff. All right, I'm not ready for this. At least I can keep control of this now. We're definitely getting stronger. Let's do this one. We're going to keep putting up walls for a little bit here just because they look cool. I know I could be more efficient, but walls look really cool, okay? Actually, I might keep putting down farms. And finally buy our castle for 25,000. That'd be amazing. Okay, so putting in the wall was an amazing idea. Look at this. Every now and then you get a stone tower to be on your wall. These guys, these generate money. This is amazing. I think once we finish this wall here, which we're nearly about to do, we're going to buy the dragon pit. And that's going to be awesome. I want to control the hill 100% of the time before I'm finished today. I want people to have to leave because of how powerful I am. Here it is. The last piece of wall. All we have to do is build these little bits and then I'm buying this. Build faster wall, man. I'm so ready. I wonder why or how that other guy had his like troops lining up over here waiting to attack. I really need to be able to do that. I want my dragons to fly in as like a flock of death. But anyway, we finished our wall. Can I upgrade them? I can upgrade the walls. Okay, that's definitely worth it later on. Let's get the dragon pit. The best 250 Robux I've probably ever spent is to build a dragon pit. That is amazing. Look at the... There are both... This is a big building. It's a dragon. Look at it. Look at how weird it is. Its wings don't flap. 
It just flies straight in the sky. That's so strange. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, there's already one over here killing people. Amazing. These guys have catapults, but I have a dragon that breathes fire. Oh, it died. Oh, my dragon's dead. Look, this guy is terrified. Look at him running into my village to see my dragon pit. I'm the king of the hill. My dragons, it's all the dragons. <laughs> it has to be. Look, there's like four dragons out there burning everything alive. I think I'm still gonna lose the hill, but amazing. What does that mean? Where was this? Oh, he's taking over the hill. Get back. Protect the hill. We did it. I haven't lost control of the hill in a long time. I feel like my dragons are really overpowered. <laughs> Maybe even a little bit unfair, but we just hit 50,000 so we can complete our final goal which was to upgrade this bad boy. Now I think maybe once this is upgraded, all this other stuff will unlock new upgrades, but I'm kind of just hoping that that doesn't happen. Oh, that's gonna take ages. The town center is just about to finish upgrading. Everything is growing out of control. We have become too powerful. What is, can I, what happens when I click on it now? Nothing. So there's definitely no new upgrade there. Is there anything else I can upgrade besides like the obvious barracks and stuff? It doesn't look like it. So maybe upgrading that town center didn't do anything. Maybe I get, I send out better quality farmers to fight. <laughs> Well, I pretty much got the whole town <laughs> upgraded. I really wish I could put the wizard tower in just to make it seem finished, but here's the army just sort of chilling, waiting for somebody else to make a move. The one guy who was challenging me, he logged out. So the hill is mine. These guys don't appear to be doing anything, nor do these guys. So I guess the moment these things hit here, my dragons, my army is going after them. Maybe they have to take control of it first. Oh, there we go. Get them, boys. <laughs> Your army's in trouble there. Your little farmers, they're not gonna have a nice time. Not a nice time at all. Get them, dragons. Burn them all. Can you- Yeah, look at all that fire! It's a scary time to be any other town. Honestly, buying the dragon pit made it really easy. You win if you have the dragon's pit, all right? Guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Can I get one like for one dragon? Should have a flying animation instead of just floating in the sky? That'd be really nice. While you're down there leaving a like, why not leave a comment down below with the hashtag blue team for a chance to be our commenter of the day. And of course, subscribe with those notifications turned on. Join the notification squad. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time.